What is up, you Blast Gold DGens? We are just a few days here from the Blast Gold TGE, so you know we had to do it to them. Here with James in the studio, and yeah, we have a Blast Dapp tier list. These are some top Blast Dapps that the two of us have been using over the past couple of months farming Blast. James, you ready to do this? Yeah, and Ross, I can tell you one thing, I will lose a lot less money making this tier list than I have using a lot of these dApps. So, you know, being break even for the next 20 minutes should be really nice for me for a change. I couldn't agree more, man. Uh, well, hey, on that note, let's start it off. This is a no brainer in my mind. Just got to put Taco Dog in the Taco Dog tier. You know, enough said. Yeah, I, I mean, I can't argue with that. That That is literally facts. He's a dog holding the taco it should be in the taco dog tier yeah let's go let's do it all right where do you think we should place thruster here i've used it a lot i didn't get a ton of gold from it it's just kind of like a it exists it does its job but it's not really anything exciting i'm thinking maybe b yeah i think that's a perfect spot you know just perfectly b bang average it does its job and sadly that's a lot more than most of these depths that we're going to talk about here <laughs> yeah i mean honestly i was going to go for insert but off that we might have to go to bloom here uh bloom is just the worst perp i've possibly ever used and they got breached so I, they got the money back so can't put in the rug tier i'm going to slam that in d tier uh conservatively though yeah no no qualms here that uh that sounds perfectly d tier uh compatible to me I love it. All right, we got insert app here. I'm tempted to put this in B. I think I want to put it in C because it's like true average in terms of just you would put in ETH and get out gold. I think it was pretty close to just ETH to gold as it gets. Yeah. Insert Bas C. Yep, basically a gold vending machine on blast and uh, not a very uh, lucrative one at that. So yeah, might need to stick to the vending machines at the strip mall for the time being. Next, we got IKB, I Know Best, or Blast, depending on how you look at it. <laughs> Mr. Silva, Mr. James, where do you want to put this one? I'm thinking either A or S tier, honestly, Ross. It, you know, they had really strong gold allocations from the jump. It's it's basically just sports betting, right? So, you know, not, not a whole lot of know-how needed, not a lot of, you know, advanced stuff that, you know, you need experience with. So I think it could go in either one. You put it in S tier. Well, it depends. Do you think Taco Dog would be comfortable using IKB as an Ottoman? If so, then I'd say let's cement that in S. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. I can just see him chilling on an all white Ottoman, eating the taco, getting Cholula everywhere. It's a vibe. Oh, yeah. Oh, I love it. All right. NFT perp here. What are you thinking? This one's a little controversial. I think they had a bit of a breach. They don't have the most amount of collections out there, but they have a novel concept. I'm leaning like C. Yeah, that's. I think so. I think we'll. I think we'll go C for that one. You know, just again, it kind of does its job well enough, but then it did have a little bit of a breach. So I'll put it in C tier. This is fine. Yeah, I'm with it. Cool logo though. If that was yeah. a logo tier list, it might be a little higher up on the list. Taco uh, dog tier? No, no, no. Nothing's taco <laughs> dog tier. You know. Don't get crazy now. All right, <laughs> let's 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 settle down. Uh, but talk to me about Yolo. I know you're a big Yoloite. Uh, what's yeah. you thinking? I'm thinking again, A or S tier, probably maybe A. Um, that, again, really strong gold from the get-go. They even had their own YOLO token launch recently, which wasn't the most exciting. You know, I didn't get back all my losses there, but you know, native token, you can now stake your own ETH and be part of the liquidity pools there. A lot of gold and it's gambling, right? Kind of the main reason we're all on blast. I, th I think it's a solid A choice. Yeah, and I'm glad we can shield Taco Dog from some of that degeneracy, give it a little bit of a buffer, but I agree. YOLO game is very fun to play. Uh, a little bit less fun to farm, but definitely fun. So we'll put that in the A tier. Let's move on to Fantasy Top. Uh, I personally faded this one. I didn't play it a lot. It seemed like there wasn't a lot of value. I'm tempted to put it in C tier, unless you think otherwise. If you put that in C tier, then we're gonna have to move Taco Dog down to like B tier. Is Are you okay with that uh, no, compromise? No, I listen. He has his own tier for a reason. What what about Fantasy Top and C tier is not jiving with you here? Honestly, Ross, I, you know, Fantasy Top was probably my most used uh, DAP on Blast. It was my best gold farm. Um, I You know, not to get into specifics, but I got a couple thousand gold off of it. Ooh. And I think, you know, everyone we've talked to, especially a lot of people in the community, they really think that it was kind of the best dollar or ETH per gold ratio out there. Just because a lot of people fudded it from the get-go. 
uh, for whatever reason. You know, I get it, costs were kind of high, and sometimes the DAP was a little broken. But for anyone who stuck around, I think they've seen really, really great returns. So for me, it's an S tier, but I'd be okay with throwing in an A just because I, you know, you had, you know, not as great of an experience. So kind of A tier, S tier, I think both of those are kind of good spots for it. I love it. Let's throw it in A tier to match the green theme here uh, and balance out some of those rankings a little bit. But I was I was inching it up amongst the rates, uh, amongst the tiers as you were given some explanation. So I appreciate the counterpoint. We got a solid green A tier here. Uh, we got another green dap here. Crypto Valley got to be A tier, right? To keep the theme consistently green. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm joking. No. This is this is where I'm gonna have to break your heart, Ross. For me, Crypto Valley is a straight up rug tier. Um, you know, they did not rug in the hardest definition of it, but if you watch, their token is down like 99% from its all time highs. Uh, their gold got slashed to like nothing in the last allocation. Oh, oh my gosh! It is yeah. I've heard, I know like D's right, big crypto Twitter influencer. Um, <laughs> He shouted it from the rooftops how terrible uh, Crypto Valleys has been the whole time, and he bought in at the top and all the way up. So, you know, he's usually a pretty honest guy, and it's for what I've seen from a lot of my friends too. So, sorry, Crypto Valleys, you're officially a rug. It's in the valley. It's only fitting. I think that uh, that makes all too much sense. But we'll we'll rebound from the valley here. Give it a little bit of a mountain. We got Cambria here. Cambria, I want to put in. A tier. I'm tempted to say S. I think there's just a lot of downside. Uh, you could just get bad variants. Some mm. people in this video chat, myself potentially, didn't get the best variants on Cambria, but it was a lot of fun. I uh, got a lot of gold from it, so I'm going to slap Cambria in A tier. I love it. I love it, man. Yeah, it's basically RuneScape on Blast. You do some rock, paper, scissors. You can gamble ETH. You can earn gold. Solid A tier project. I love it. All right, we got another game here, Wolf Game. A little bit of a blast from the past, pun intended on blast, but Wolf Game from ETH to Blast Network. What do you think? We you know, I think I'm going to have to put it in C tier, honestly. Ooh. I could see B. They got a fair bit of gold, but, you know, it was expected that their wool token would hit the jackpot. It never did that. It also didn't really come over until, like, the last month or so, so it missed a lot of gold in those earlier distributions. So... Not a bad project in and of itself, but just kind of, you know, didn't have as much time as all these other ones. And if I'm being honest, I don't think I can ever wash that taste of beanie out of my mouth. So straight C tier for me. Yeah, I agree with you completely there, man. C as in see a month sooner next time. Definitely uh, <laughs> drop the ball there. All right, Captain and Company, you know, it would be fitting for the alliteration to put it in C tier. I thought it was a decent effort. Uh, for this one, you definitely needed a VA to go ham. I didn't realize that. So I'm tempted to put it at a B tier. A little B for the CC. Yeah, I love it. I think that's the perfect spot for it. Good gold. Needed a little bit of help, but yeah, decent game. All right. And we got District 1 here. Could be a, a good time for some more alliteration. I'm very tempted to put this in D tier, dude. I saw people just going crazy for these gems for maybe like tens of gold, but I'm open to, to hear you out. Uh, in our business, we call that a whopping tens of gold, Ross. <laughs> all right, give it, give it the respect it deserves. Uh, but no, you're spot on, man. It, you know they kind of changed things up the last week or two. Uh, now they're like launching meme coins. I don't think D1 even knows what it wants to be, quite honestly. So D1 should be in the D tier. I mean, it's it's in the name, right? All right. Well, I think we got to salute it for that. Thank you, D1. <laughs> uh, but hey, we can rebound from that because the juice is loose. Juice finance. What you thinking for this bad boy? You know, I'm thinking we could probably throw that in the B tier, really. Um, yeah. You know, decent product, was great. I know a lot of people used it to long or short different coins, uh, you know, especially related to like jackpots going on and playing the market that way, along with de depositing for some gold. So yeah, you know, did its job. Don't think it really had any big hacks of note. So solid b tier project i love that that's a qualifier for b tier didn't have any hacks <laughs> it's got yeah be yeah that's pretty good oh my god yeah that's pretty indicative of uh of blast at this point speaking of blast we have the prequel we got blur uh i might be biased on this one because i lost a ton of eth blast eth trying to farm some projects still haven't seen that gold and it turns out that i was just a minnow in a whales game for that reason i'm tempted to put blur on d but again, I'm open to uh, some other sides here if you think otherwise. 
No, quite honestly, I think I'm right there with you, man. I think, it, like you said, it's a Wales game. I lost a fair bit of ETH, but that's the game we play. And really, their gold, it was only 2 million. So, you know, most of, a lot of these projects have gotten 2, 5, 10x that amount, you know. So I, I really don't even think it was that great of a farm, truth be told. Yeah, I agree with you there. Uh, speaking of worse farms, though... I think we have the two worst farms in all of Blast right here. Crypto Valley's a literal farm and Blast Runner's PvP, which ended up being just an enormous rug. They relaunched and I think it ended up being an enormous rug once again. That's firm rug territory for me. What's better than one rug, Ross, but a second rug, right? I mean, yeah, if we could have a double rug category, Crypt, uh, Blast Runners would be there. No doubt in my mind. All right, and have you heard of Daki Swap? That's the big question that I want to know for the final item on our tier list. I haven't. Daki Swap is that is that like a under the radar kind of farm? You hit some good gold on that one, I hope. Uh, even better than that, their logo is the silhouette of a duck. It's called Daki Swap, and they gave out two point nine gold over the course of the entire blast gold giveaway. For that, I think it has to go to Taco Dog tier. It's just too fun not to. Bro, 2.9 million gold? Uh, a legitimate 2.9 period gold. 2.9. Bruh. I mean, normally I feel like that'd be D, maybe even rug territory uh, of a project, but you're right. That silhouette is pretty fi, and what's better to join a taco dog than a duck? So, <laughs> all right, taco dog tier. Yeah, we got to give him someone to share the tacos with. Otherwise, he's just eaten by himself. Love it. I love it, dude. I think this is a great tier list. I really think it kind of encapsulates a lot of what we've seen in the Blast ecosystem. And uh, hopefully, you know, after TGE next week, we get a season two with some stronger, you know, more uh, fun daps, you know, like Daki Swap. Yeah, 100%, man. Well, this has been awesome. I think uh, I think we got a solid tier list here. Let us know in the comments if you agree or disagree with how we rank these. But we'll see you in season two. Bon appetit. See you later, folks, and happy farming.